automated voice goes, okay, Marcus, give me a moment while I look up your account. And then they make the noise like they're typing like, you're not real, you're not typing. And I'm yelling in I know you're not real. You're not human. You don't need to pretend to type. <laughs> I know this isn't real. But this was a and I'm, I'm kicking myself for not getting her name because she deserves all the praise in the world. Call her back, she'll answer. Oh, yeah, she will. Somebody in San Mateo County in the hiring department did a good job. That's it's great. Hazardous materials lady. I love that. I really do. Anyway, uh, 644, we're going to check what's trending here a little bit. Trying to figure out if I'm excited or hesitant, what? but HBO has announced the release date for the sequel to A Christmas Story. I'm excited.
she's never afraid Just picture everybody naked She really doesn't like the way Not really into hesitation Pulls me in enough to keep me guessing oh, oh. Maybe I should stop Sean Mendez, good morning. This is what I'm talking about. It's what's trending on Star 1013. What's happening in entertainment news, the biggest stories of the day, and everything people are talking about today in the Bay. Sorry. That's all right, I'm, I'm here. HBO Max has announced the date for a Christmas story sequel. Corey's in her feelings this morning because not only are they messing with that classic, but we just rebooting Fletch. Yeah, with John Hamm. I was just watching the trailer. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> it's just sometimes, it, now, the John Hamm one is also not a reboot. It's more of a sequel. Right, okay. So it would be like the third okay. Fletch. Now, A Christmas Story Christmas is a sequel to the 1983 original. It's going to be coming out November 17th. From the original. So, Peter Billingsley now 51, will be reprising his role as Ralphie. Okay. The others from the original film, including Randy, uh, Scott Farkas. No, those names mean anything to me. Really? They're all the boys. The, the group of boys and friends. And then uh, the... I'm not as connected to that movie as you are. Randy's his brother. Okay. His little brother. And then Scott Farkas was the bully. All right. Uh, Flick and Schwartz, they're the ones that were involved with the I Devil Dog area. Put your tongue on the pole. Thank you for the full report. Yeah, I can do it, man. <laughs> 2022 MTV Video Music Awards are going down Sunday in New Jersey. Cool J, Jack Harlow, and Nicki Minaj. Nicki is going to get the Michael Jackson Video Award, while Red Hot Chili Peppers will get the Global Icon Award. Sweet. Will Nas X, Jack Harlow, and Kendrick Lamar lead this year's seven nods each. Okay. And Kobe Bryant's widow, I know you heard that she... pictures of the 2020 crash that killed Kobe and his daughter and they were passing them around yeah. the, the uh, photographers so she was awarded 16 million dollars now her lawyer says she's going to donate money from that verdict to the Mamba and Mamba Seed Sports Foundation Good. which is the nonprofit that offers opportunities to underprivileged young athletes so she's taking the negative and turning it into a positive Good. I like it um, what do we have for you so let's see Real 
quick, your San Francisco 49ers lost to the Houston Texans. 